New at six refugees from Afghanistan heading it to the Asheville area. Local officials there expect to welcome around 40 people, but they're not sure when they'll exactly arrive. Now, the federal government has contracts with a couple organizations and they'll help with those resettlement efforts. Fox Carolina's Amber Worthy looked into this for us today and has more about how they'll make this happen. So it is a complex process, Tori, with a lot of steps, but they say they have a lot of help from agencies in Western North Carolina to make this happen whenever the time comes. The Buncombe County Health Department is expecting about 40 Afghan refugees to come to Asheville. 40, we're expecting maybe 40, but nobody really knows. They don't even know. So they say the timeline is uncertain because the organizations who were given the federal contracts to resettle these refugees could get a call sending them to the airport at any moment to pick them up. To their credit, they're, they're prepared. Prepared to offer them assistance with everything you would need if you were moving cross country with nothing. Officials say there is federal money to help them. We would um, help them apply for the federal refugee assistance. So that's a program that where you could receive up to eight months of cash assistance. It's going to help them to see if their vaccinations are up to date. Do they need any vaccinations uh, coming into the country? And then we're going to refer them to yet another community partner that we're in contract with. People with language barriers and housing needs, medical care, food, and local companies are stepping up to help. Assistance with housing, like maybe they have property, they want to, to offer it up you know, as a rental, uh, the businesses might offer, like we've had businesses say, we'll help with job training. And Homeland Security says that all Afghan refugees have been tested for COVID when they arrive to the U.S. and they have an option to get vaccinated. And with no federal or state mandate, they aren't required to get vaccinated against COVID-19. Back to you.